What's going on guys? Emp here and welcome back to another Emp Reacts. Today we are doing something incredibly, incredibly awesome. I cannot wait to get into this. I'm, I'm actually just, oh my god, dude, I've been so ready. All right, we're doing Let the Ocean Take Me, Redo, Redux, Tomato Tomato, but uh, I am so over the moon. You guys have seen my Amity Affliction videos. I I absolutely am just I'm insane about this band. I love them so much. So yeah, we got uh we got 10 tracks here. None of the bonus tracks at 3921. So it's a little bit shorter. I think it's because Pittsburgh doesn't have the intro. But uh we did check out uh my father's son, of course, when they released that. So uh, I'm very intrigued to hear how a lot of these singles sound. Like everybody knows how everybody knows Pittsburgh. Everyone knows "Don't Lean on Me." Those are just the songs that anybody that I know who like barely listens to Amity. Those are the two they know, especially Pittsburgh. But especially with it being like the meaning behind uh, Pittsburgh, it's really cool that that's actually like their biggest song. But all right. Uh, let's get into this. I cannot wait to check this out. This is going to be, oh, it's going to be so good, but thanks for being here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thumb it up. If you do subscribe, notification bell, all that fun stuff. Uh, my socials emperor TV on all platforms. Yada, yada, yada. All right. Uh, let's zip. Let's get into this. The Amity affliction. Let the ocean take me 2.0. Let's go. Yes. I wonder if Aaron does like lower register like he's been doing live for the chorus. Oh my god, it does sound like it's a live version. Yes! I love how they have Dan. I'm really digging this. Oh, he didn't do it that time. I tried catching it. I wonder if they reuse the gang vocals here. Ooh. I like it. Different melody.
Come in hard. Come on. Ooh. Twenty twenty four. We're bringing back all the beautiful. We're bringing them back. Yes. All right. I really dug that. I thought that was a really nice. Um, I'm not going to call it a remake. It's not really a remake, but I love how they use the live uh, the live setup for this where they have, you know, of course, Aaron start the uh, the chorus and then they have Dan kind of in the background. You know. I will say this and I. I don't give him enough credit at least in the live, then what I've heard in the live performances and from what I've seen of them, like Dan is such an incredible singer. He is. And then I, I, I don't give any props to Joel for whatever reason. Joel is an absolute animal. And I've seen a lot of his drum cams too. All right. We're starting out very strong. I wasn't sure how Pittsburgh would sound, but yeah, I dig it. All right. Lost and fading. Hmm. Yo, I'm still to my vinyl. So you can't help but smile. I love this band so much. This is everything I wanted. I want a Redux redo on every Amity album now. I'm already spoiled. Two songs in. A song and a half.
I'm probably gonna smile this entire video. I love this now like I think what made the original let the ocean take me like obviously it'll never be replaced and it, it, it was that like it wasn't as like the advanced production that we have now in 2024 you know 10 years ago was you know quite a big difference in sound but I, I so far I'm incredibly happy with this. I mean, they could do absolutely anything, and, and honestly, I would be on board for it. A lot of people did not like Misery. I absolutely loved Misery. Uh, it's funny because you can kind of see on my side playlists, it's like all Amity, and then for some reason, Daylist Crab Core C Sharp for this moment. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna have to see what the hell that's all about. Oh wait, it was one of those Daylists that they made. I forgot about that. That was that was a popular thing. But yeah, like I never like I mean you probably see them and you never really notice, but like on my arm. Hold on, let me get a, a better posture. I have FMR on my wrist. That is for fight my regret. And then of course an anchor for anchors. Two songs that have played a very, very big role in my life. Um for reasons I'm, I'm I'm sure you can guess, but we're gonna continue this dive because I'm like I'm like teasing myself, not just diving into more of it. All right, don't lean on me. Everybody knows this song. Let's go. I'm having my own little mini concert here. Uh, 
I dig that. This is probably my favorite of what we've heard. It's just so full, man. A big old hug. You know, I, I haven't had the best of days the last few. I feel like it just all led me to this. Because this is just, this is incredible. I'm not waiting anymore. The way down, let's go. Apologies if you hear me singing. Also, it's 12 in the morning. I'm not going to sit here and just, you know. That was terrible. <laughs> Joel sounds incredible. I'll, I'll wait till the end. I've already talked too much now. This is amazing. personal concert, leave me alone.
You know, what I was going to say earlier, and I'm glad I stopped myself from because I just probably would have went off on some crazy tangent about it. But one thing that I absolutely am loving on this is just Aaron's tone. I would I would be so all for the next Amity album, like their actual like a new album, not a redone album. Uh, would would be to have Aaron kind of sing in this range. I, I think it suits him incredibly well. You know, we've all seen the live videos of Aaron back in the day when he was uh, trying to hit those high notes where he would just kind of like jerk his body away from the microphone just to like give himself that extra little bit of oomph to hit it. And sometimes he would, sometimes he wouldn't, you know. I think he's he's a he's a lot more comfortable in his voice. I noticed in the last couple albums. Uh, I I think when was it? Uh, honestly, everyone loves you. Yeah, hey, everyone loves you once you leave them. I think that was kind of like I'm trying to think if there was anything on misery or even on like this could be heartbreak. I don't I don't think. But like honestly, I know whenever they did the video for I Can't Feel My Face, uh Arn was talking about it like, yeah, like if 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 we could just write an album in this in this pitch or this uh you know, I would be if we wrote it in this key, I, I would be so down for it. And you know, he's kind of getting his wish on this, and I think this sounds really, really good. All right, we got never alone. Here we go. I'm gonna do less talking. beautiful on this album. they doing this now Oh, 
<laughs> the sink in the back with this just makes it go that much harder. I think these are doing justice to the album. I, I really, really do. Will it ever replace the feeling of hearing the original for the first time? Absolutely not. And I don't think that that's, that was the plan here. I think it was to celebrate it and to see how far they've come as a band in the last 10 years. And I, I think this is a very good service. Now, we're coming to the second half of the album, and this is these have some of my very personal favorites, especially this next one. Uh, this is another one that is a very, very personal song to me, and uh, it's actually going to be my my next tattoo that I'm going to be getting. It will be uh, basically a hand reaching out and holding the hand of like a skeleton or holding the hand of the reaper holding death's hand so yeah um it's i'm pretty much just when i'm satisfied i'll just have nothing but amity affliction tattoos and then i'll see them live and then like with all of them they'll look at me like what the hell are you doing dude <laughs> no they're really really cool guys but yeah all right I, I'm gonna I'm gonna geek out so hard on this one. All right, Death Sand. I'm gonna flail just so you guys know, and I'm gonna look like a complete idiot. Come on, come on. Yes. So good. I am very satisfied with this. Yes! 
life left to live To all the hearts they carry me I had to do some searching To understand the reason For every selfish feeling Yes! They throw some of the live elements in there. You know what? I, I, I'm I'm not keeping that. I'm not taking that out. That happens every once in a great while. Never in recordings. We're taking it back more though. <laughs> a little too hard. It, okay, again, that's not going to be as good as the original, but my god. For that, this being my favorite song on the album, I I have zero complaints about this. I think this is such a phenomenal album. This is... Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right, FML, come on. I just want to listen to this on repeat forever. I'm going to. This is my friend. You gotta check this out.
Pontus. I love it. Thank you. If you know, you know. Hell yes. Hell yes. We're making record time. Let's keep going. My father's son. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, wait. <laughs> we already checked out my father's son. Okay, this is a re listen. I think I criticized it. I feel like it could have went a little harder, and I still feel that way. More at the end. I call this piano, I think. <laughs> we did the video for it. times have I smiled? Have I not smiled? I feel all the have heard this already. Trying to understand myself It seems like my own reflection Is just somebody else It's taken years to know my father Courses through my veins Though I never knew him It turns out we're the same I did like this build up part here. So one thing I didn't really touch on the last time uh, was my father's son. There was a couple parts that I was really, really looking forward to in the the Redux, but uh, I didn't quite, I wasn't quite as satisfied. Let me find the part. Right here. So 
This part on the original always gets me so hyped up. And whenever I was building up to it and then it came in and it didn't hit as hard. I don't know. It's just, it's mostly the second one though. I, I, I don't know why it, it, it sounds it sounds so good now everything I've loved I've loved everything Joel's done on this this is I think the first time that I likes the original more than it just being like the same I think especially towards at the very very end here Right here. Like that part right there, it really like, you can feel the pain and the anguish in his voice when he sings that, or when he screams that, you know, won't be my father's mistakes. So he's just, he's so hell bent on making sure that that doesn't happen. And it terrifies him to happen. Man, my dude's 1.1 million. That should be 1.1 billion. All right, we got two more left on the album. Uh, but still, My Father's Son, I did really enjoy it. We got Forest Fire. This is another one that... uh, This one took a while to grow on me when the original came out. But it ended up being one of my favorite tracks. Ooh. Oh. It's a high. Ah. Uh, uh, not bad. I'm satisfied with that at least. <laughs> yes. Very nice. Very satisfied with that chorus. I'm loving these extra screams that Joel throws in.
I wish that was the the higher for me original. That's fine though. I'm absolutely loving this album. This is such a good album. I I can't get enough of it. I, I'm gonna be listening to this app like just nonstop. Give it all. Let's go. Ooh. Punch through the chest. The vocal melodies in this throw me off, but it's so great. This is such a good album closer. It's one of their best. Joel's harmonizing with the R so much better. Such a sucker for synth, man. I was hoping they would do the, the nice little games there. Wow.
2024 is just turning into like the year of uh, remakes. And I know Motionless did. Um. Oh wait, did they do a whole album? I'm not sure. I really dug this. I thought this was wicked. Wicked cool. All right, so that was Let the Ocean Take Me, Redo Redux, Tomato Tomato. Very, very good album. Lost and Fading to me was uh, my favorite that of the uh, of what was redone. Uh, I do hope now that we get a This Could Be Heartbreak remake. I know it's a very hit or miss album for a lot of people. Some of the songs like uh, Tear Me Apart and Oh My God, I'm Missing You are two songs that people are not the biggest uh, fans of. You know, maybe they can uh, beef them up a little bit. But uh, I think I Bring the Weather With Me. Uh, honestly, Nightmare was one of my favorites. So that can be, uh, that could actually go pretty hard. Uh, heavier Fight My Regret. I would be totally down for that. Blood in My Mouth. Actually, no. Oh, see, Give It All or Blood in My Mouth. Those are probably my two favorite closers. But I don't know. It's going to be speculation. Maybe we'll never get it. Maybe I'll just be sad forever. But yeah. But yeah. Uh, for the YouTube video, thank you for being here. Subscribe if you're not already. Thank you for watching. Take care.